morning everyone it's Jelani the morning scriptures came from James chapter 1 verses 17 and 18 and Proverbs chapter 18 verse 22 let us pray Heavenly Father we come to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ this morning to give you thanks for another day of life we thank you for preserving us as always, for not letting us be taken out in our sins, but that you have shown mercy on us. You have been gracious to us in so much that you have preserved us to this point so that we can better conform and be washed by your word <clears throat> and not be plucked up out of this world in our corruption. Because we know those who are plucked up in their corruption, they shall be cast away as waste. But I thank you that you have nurtured us, that you have pruned us, that you have purged us so that we can bring forth fruit in this time. And um, as always, just bring you pleasure because that's what you have made us and created us for. Lord, as always, I just pray that you keep us from sinning. Keep us from erroring or error from the faith. Keep us from hating or doing anything that is displeasing unto you, dear Lord. But I just pray that you continue with us in your love, that we show your love in this perverse world, being that light of this world. And as always, Lord, as we partake in your word, I pray that we reverence your word, that we do not take what we read for granted but that they are the words of our eternal God. The God who created us and has given us instruction to live this life. So as you have given us instruction, this is the manual for our life. I pray that we do take heed, that we don't lean on our own understanding, because the end of that is no good for us. So as always, in spirit and in truth, lead us into all understanding. Keep us from deceiving each other or deceiving ourselves or being deceived, but that we shall come to that one truth, that one mind, which is in you, Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. All right, cool. So James chapter 1 verse 17 says, Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of lights with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. Of his own will he begat us with the word of truth, that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. And then Proverbs chapter 18 verse 22 says, Whoso findeth a wife findeth a good thing, a good thing and obtaineth favor of the lord cool all right so as i said some of these mornings we do repeat some of these scriptures right as i said these scriptures the initial the first scriptures most of the time is just from this app that sends me them each morning and then i just go and read anything that is that is um well, I'll read that chapter and then I'll read anything that the Lord lead me to read that morning. So we're back here in James. We even spoke about James yesterday. But um, yeah, it's just showing us there that, yes, we have gifts of this world, right? And um, good gift of, um, if we think not carnally, so not just things... Um, like from a shop or something like that. This good gift here is talking pretty much things that are spiritual, right? That is the best gift that we can get, our spiritual gifts, right? We know we can get, get things of this world from God, like God can still bless us with uh, things of this world, but we, when we get these things, it's not for us to look to these things as... And, and let them become a snare unto us 
but we should be seeking those things that are above so when we do ask for gifts of god we don't want to be asking lord bless me with a house bless me with a car bless me with money bless me with all of these things yeah if he wants to give you he can give you don't get me wrong but that should be our primary focus our primary focus is to ask the gifts of the spirit right our heavenly gifts and the ultimate gift that we can get is eternal life and we know we can get the gift of the spirit which um is manifested in in many ways and for everyone according to the measure that is given unto them right so when they say every give, good gift is from um every perfect gift is from above it's showing you that it's not carnal gifts because we know we don't get we don't see people praying for cars and they're coming from we see cars a bentley coming from the skies landing in front of your driveway it's not the case <laughs> but um as we said we, we're focusing more on the spiritual aspect of gifts right and that gift of the Holy Spirit is what we should be asking for because that is what is going to keep us in this life. That is what is going to um, be our token on Redemption Day that we can be with the Lord forever and ever when he does come back for us. Right? So, yeah, it just shows you that those and those gifts there what are perfect and good, which come from the Father of Lights it's those gifts are sure and when i say sure that means it's a must that we, we we will get it if we ask of him without any um with all faith without belief that he's able to give it to us because as the scripture says there there's no variableness in him nor shadow of turning that shows you that that the one that promises you these gifts right these spiritual gifts which come down from heaven th that person which is our heavenly father is not going to go back on his promise right we can revert and go away and turn away from the the, the the good gifts or reject it but he is not going to turn away or reject or do anything like that so when we always say that we should always be making sure that we're reflecting on our life making sure that we are walking a life according to the will of god then we know that Everything would work out because he is faithful regardless, right? Is we are the ones who are the, who tend to be unfaithful and turn away from him, right? So, say of his own will, he begat us with the word of truth that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. And um, as I said, the will of God for every single soul is that none should perish, that is the ultimate will, right? For all of us to take heed to what Christ Jesus said and do the will of him through his son, our Lord Jesus Christ. And um, when he says that, yes, God knows who are going to choose and who are going to reject. Nevertheless, that is his perfect, good, acceptable will for every single soul in this life, right? And it says um, that we should, he begat us with the word because it's a word that is going to wash us and cleanse us and to change us from, from that life that is on, not pleasing unto God and to turn onto the, the path of righteousness. And um, the word is of God and we know that the word was manifested to us through our Lord Jesus Christ who fulfilled all things and taught us to do what that that which is perfect right he's only perfect person so if we want to aim to be pleasing unto god which is a perfect person we have to be conforming ourselves to the image of our lord jesus christ that's why in the scripture it says be ye perfect because the lord your god is perfect right jesus christ is perfect he wants us to be like him disciples of him follow him Hence, we have to be living a life modeled and by the word after him, right? So, it said it should be a first fruit of his creatures because we know the first fruits are the, as I said, if we look at the fruits of the spirit, yes, we're going to manifest it in this present day, age and time by when we receive it and we follow after Jesus. 
but in the time to come we shall be even a first fruit as he is a first fruit from the dead also that we can be conformed to his image perfectly where we would have a spiritual incorruptible body being with our heavenly father with our lord jesus christ um forever and ever right so i just show you there the things that we should look in be looking for in this life as i said it's it's gonna tend towards the spiritual side and not the carnal side if we're really asking for those things that are good and perfect right those gifts that are good and perfect so if i just skip over to proverbs chapter 18 verse 22 it says Whoso, whoso findeth a wife findeth a good thing. That's a thing two times, isn't it? Jamaican. Whosoever, whoso findeth a wife findeth a good thing and obtain favor of the Lord. So, we just talk about the gift, the good gifts there, right? As a man, I can't see any better gift outside of the presence of God, right? Outside of receiving the holy spirit and being a child of god i can't see any better gift other so outside of that because that is the primary gift what we, is the best one in the in our existence but outside of that as a man i can't see anything better than having a wife and a family and it shows it there um in proverbs that whosoever findeth a wife findeth a good thing and obtain favor of the lord so there's nothing wrong with 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 um with asking this this is a good this is also a good gift in it because it's <laughs> the lord said it lord it's testified there by the word that he findeth a good thing right and as i said i can't see outside of be besides this gift of the holy spirit i can't see anything better than a man wanting to have a wife and his children and to rear that rear them up in the lord like keep his household centered on christ and um the teachings that he has um given us being that spiritual head right because even that there is a spiritual aspect for that because we know that it is said that god in christ christ in man a man over woman right that is the how god made it that's how he set it up and a man really is showing the love of christ when he has a wife because we know that even christ the church is his bride and he shows us how to love through loving his bride the church so a man can show and manifest the, the fruits of the spirit which is love through his his um covenant his marriage with his wife and that's why marriage and those things we shouldn't take the world has belittled it but it's not something that we should take lightly because it is actually showing a similitude of christ and the church and a man should love his wife as christ loved the church as it said willing to die that he can wash her and present her wash her with the, the, the washing of the word present her without spot wrinkle or, or blemish right that is one purpose of a man and that a real man would want to feed his, wash his wife with the word. <laughs> a man of God is going to want to be that one that is the one that is um, Christ-centered first and foremost. But be that one for his wife also to wash her with the word. To make sure that she is presented blameless, without spot, without wrinkle or blemish before our Lord. And that's why it shows us that the woman should respect her husband because the man's job is to do this based on the scripture. Not to say that she doesn't have direct access to our Lord Jesus. We know that. But as we said, there's a high, there's, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a it's set up in a way <clears throat> according to what God has had in his will to similitude Christ and the church, to, to be a foreshadow of Christ and the church, right? So, yeah, I just wanted to touch on that. It might not look like it linked, but I pray that this point was given across, right? So, our first and foremost, just a recap, that, that perfect gift, what we're looking for, is the gift of the Holy Spirit of our Lord Jesus Christ, right? 
and um as i said if we just go there outside of that as talking as a man i can't see a better gift or a good more good thing to receive in this life than finding a wife and showing that love of christ through the relations the relationship that you would have with your wife all right so that's all for, for all the husbands all the men that are looking for wives um just to know yeah definitely we should be paying attention to how we treat our wife and how we treat her because we are in turn showing how we, we, we should be modeling what Christ has done for us, right? So, yeah, leave it at that this morning, everyone. I pray that everyone has a good morning. Just a reminder of the email address for your questions. It's in the description. It's the word at etreatone.org. And um, you can send in any questions, anything at all. It doesn't have to be biblical. And as much as the Lord has led me and taught me over the years, I will answer it according to his word, according to his principle and according to his will. So have a good morning, everyone, and we'll catch up tomorrow.